Harry Potter Wizards Unite is, in a nutshell, Pokemon Go but with recognizable wizard tchotchkes instead of collectible pocket monsters. While that concept may not be the Wizarding World game of my dreams, I've had fun with Niantic's latest augmented reality walking RPG, but I do worry about how its many miscellaneous issues will affect my enjoyment in the long run. In a story that feels like a silly J.K. Rowling lore tweet, Harry Potter Wizards Unite enlists you and other wizards around the world to prevent muggles from learning of the wizarding world. For anyone who's played Pokemon Go, the format proves instantly familiar, and it still works as a great foundation for a mobile game. Exploring the pretty, more colorful storybook aesthetic of Wizard Unite's map, you hunt around for an assortment of foundables. Or confoundables. Well, actually, the confoundable is the thing holding the foundable out of its place in space and time, and you have to free the foundable from the confoundable. Look, it's a very complicated way of explaining the smart and more engaging version of Pokemon Go's catching mechanic, even if it's not quite as iconic of a wish fulfillment mechanic as catching your own Pikachu is. But Niantic's latest is so wrapped up in justifying its own existence that there's little in the way of actually helping you improve in your spell casting. Part of that may stem from just how much Niantic throws your way, and Wizards Unite doesn't do the best job of ingratiating you into every aspect. And that's unfortunate, because at the end of the day, Wizards Unite isn't all that complicated, it just makes some really bizarre missteps. One of the biggest is the uncanny valley of the foundables. The unfortunate choice to go with realistic human character designs means they can't hold a floating candle to the real humans I've seen in the Harry Potter films. And it's disappointing that you can't design your own wizarding character beyond the color of your Hogwarts house. Customizing a photo I take of myself at the start with borders and AR costumes feels pointless when I never look at it or share it with friends. But Niantic's other use of AR in-game is one of my favorite innovations. A port key can be placed in the world around you so you can step into a familiar wizarding location. It's the closest to bringing magic alive that Wizards Unite ever comes, and I wish that same ingenuity could be more apparent in other areas. For example, the change of Pokestops to greenhouses and inns adds more to do, but the very limited inventory you're saddled with makes hunting for more resources a chore. And to get more room in my inventory, I need gold, which I still can't believe aren't called galleons in the game. And that's the rarest commodity unless you're willing to dole out real-world money. Then there's the real-life multiplayer aspect, Fortresses. Though they can be tackled solo, you can join together with other players to fight through floor after floor of any fortress you come across. There's a nice bit of strategy that can really come into play beyond simple type matching thanks to you and your friends' chosen classes. It's a much more engaging system than tap-tap-tapping through every Pokémon gym around. But at least anecdotally, I'm not running into too many other wizards as I play like I did with the phenomenally popular Pokémon Go. I really like the flow and cadence of fortresses, but friends aren't always around, and I sadly have had to go it alone more often than I would have liked. And on that note, Wizards Unite of course still suffers from the same problem any location-based game will, availability of things to actually do. You're likely going to struggle to find things to do in more rural areas, and when spell power, which is found at inns and greenhouses, can be in short supply, it can feel like Wizards Unite's monetization is even more of a strain. I'm a bit confounded by my time with Harry Potter Wizards Unite. I've definitely been enjoying the daily grind, but I worry about its longevity. Adding on to that, the quick collectible ceiling I ran into, the lack of meaningful customization, and a multiplayer experience that is missing some easy features Pokemon Go already has, and I'm worried about the longevity of this walking RPG. Wizards Unite has been a fun, small dose of magic in my daily life for the last week, but I'm not sure how engaging all of these mechanics will remain in the long run. For more on all things Harry Potter, check out some Wizards Unite gameplay and our hopes for the possibly leaked Harry Potter RPG. And of course, for everything else, stay tuned to IGN.